Hello and welcome to our Lobo Live exclusive. My name is Dakota Cox and I play linebacker. My name is Austin Apodaca, I play quarterback. I'm Daniel Henry and I play safety. Lamar Jordan, I play quarterback. And today we're going to be talking about the 2016 Lobo football season and the upcoming bowl game. Now uh, we're going to get to a few questions just so you get to know us a little bit better. But um, I know I have a few pregame rituals. Uh, what are some of your guys' things you like to do before the games? Anyone? I like to make sure my eye black is 100 percent That's perfect. True. That's true. Because you always come to me to ask yeah, for eye black. Yeah, I go to and get the eye black. <laughs> and also, uh, I get one of our equipment managers, usually a different one each game, and make them run routes for me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not make them, but ask them politely too. Wow. Well, I don't. I don't do anything. I pray. That's about it. That's your well, you yeah. Uh, I pray, and I start bumping some meek or future. You know. <laughs> <laughs> getting ready and getting that mood. And then, uh, yeah, I'm outside throwing the ball with Juwan probably. That's all I do. Yeah, so you said a little bit of Meek and Future yeah. before the games. Mm -hmm. What about you, D.N.? Oh, I listen to, like, Don Candy. I'm from California. I listen to Nipsey Hustle. Nice, man. Maybe, maybe some YG. There we go. You know. I you just listen to whatever they play on the video board. Do you listen to country? Do you guys listen to country before games? No. Not against not, it. Not normally. I don't really listen to anything. Country, rap, Justin Bieber. You like sing... <laughs> Justin Bieber? A little, little Jerry depends, on, mm. depends on the vibe. Little Backstreet yeah. Boys, you know, throw it in there. I'll put some Backstreet Boys in there. I'm afraid to do that. <clears throat> all right, yeah, that sounds good, man. But, um, all right, everyone played different positions in high school. I know that because I did too. Uh, if you could play a different position in college, what would it be? Kicker. <clears throat> I'd be the kicker. Or I'd be a long snapper. <laughs> you don't have to do anything during practice. That's just true. snap the ball. Yeah, yeah. That's never true. mind. I cut the kicker. You, you got to, you know, those are really high, high intensity situations. You have to kick in. But uh, probably just a long snapper. You come in about six, seven plays a game. You snap the ball. You only have to tackle anybody. <laughs> does, I, does Steve after. have a tackle? Does he, no. There's no. a couple fumble recoveries. Okay, yeah. yeah so long that's snapper. That's, I'm going with that answer. Yeah. What about you, Austin? Yeah. I'd probably play safety and, you know, just wear the coolest gear and make everyone think I would really be really good at it. And probably not want to hit anyone. Just ankle pick everyone when they came to my area, and just go for every pick, and wear a dark black visor. So, so just create a player. Just a creative create a player. player. Okay. Yeah. Nah. yeah, and do more curls so my arms get bigger. <laughs> so, because you have to be big as a safety. So, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, really. Just things like that, you know. Yeah. Okay. So we can yeah. safety side. About you. Right, you have? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I I was always one that I always wanted to be a quarterback. And they'd never let me play, yeah. probably because I couldn't throw. But that's <laughs> makes that's a big part of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. But all right, so wait, wait, wait. What do you want? LG, yeah, LG. I'm a guess. Uh, I'm a guess. Point. I'm gonna say receiver. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'll probably play nickel. 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 That's such yeah. a <laughs> that's okay. Like that's such a really specific it's like, position. So like, so like I don't know, I just, outside linebacker. You want to be Lee Crosby? No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. He wants to be Jake Rosh. I want to be Tom Rand Matthew. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I can see that. <coughs> All right, who are the funniest people on the team? We got a lot of personalities. Me, so. Richard McCorley. Yeah. I was going to say Rick. Or Donnie White. Awesome. Yeah. You're, you're yeah. Up, I think you're Emmanuel up, Harris is easy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Emmanuel Harris is the most yeah. childish person on our team. No question about it. I mean, the other day he came to practice in a, in a, a banana, banana costume. Yeah. Just for eating fun. Eating a banana. Eating a banana, yeah. And he was probably serious about it. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, I think my vote's Emmanuel Harris, so shout out E-Man. Yeah. You're welcome. All right. Okay. Best Madden player, Lamar. You already said it before, that's but self-proclaimed. So, that's not yeah, completely I don't legitimate. Know. I, just, I let me go horrible. ahead and stamp as the best on the team. <laughs> I am horrible. So I, I don't. I, I don't play. play I don't play video games. Either. I have a PS3. I just. I don't. I don't play. I don't play any video games anymore. I'm, I'm too old. I don't I'm know, a big. Now. I'm a big FIFA fan, but yeah, I'm still not very good. I'm too old to be playing games. So you're saying you're the best FIFA player on the team? Absolutely not. I've seen Cole Gauchi play, and Cole Gauchi's. Very good. Yeah, Cole is. Lamar Last year at the ball game, I really scored good. my first FIFA goal, and I was ecstatic. <laughs> it was it's really hard to come by on FIFA, so. The bowl game, that's Pretty when, uh, last year, Mike Cardano brought out the 64, Nintendo 64, uh, yeah. NFL Blitz all day long. That was, that was the best. All right, funniest moment on the team this year between anyone? <laughs> I don't know. That's, yeah. that's, 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 like, that's hard to figure out. We should probably think of about four or five of them and then, you know, cut it down to two. Cut it down. Get a championship 
I don't. Th- yeah, I don't I think f- there's any funny moments. I, don't, I feel like <laughs> we don't have fun. Very, football. Is, very, football is football is really dangerous. Fun, sir. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, football. Is, are are you smiling? Football is scary. Yeah, I really can't think of anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's I just like anything funny really. Happens. Nothing really stands out, but there's always always good times out on the field and stuff. But but nothing stands out though. I mean, you not like anything? specifically. Can you pick anything? You know, maybe like. Well, how about we just combine it with the funniest moment with the coach? <laughs> yeah, funniest moment with the coach. That, the coach is probably had the funniest moments. Yeah. So what? what it, you got You got I don't think we have a funny moment with the coach either. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't. I don't know. It's hard. What They're about just, our coaches, coaches were dancing after we? After we, what Co- did we Coach win? Davies like shopping cart oh, dance, or was that, that coach? That wasn't this year. Though, that so was yeah. last year. The yeah. Coach Kaza's shopping cart. That was that was pretty funny. He was literally doing the shopping cart as a dance. He was pushing What's the shopping that? cart and then grabbing cart. stuff off the shelf. <laughs> That's like Cat Williams in his in his stand up. Yeah. He definitely had, had a lot of funny moments. But I don't know. I yeah, think I really can't, I can't think of it. It's probably some funny moments we can't talk about. Yeah, that was funny. That's what I wanted to say. That's probably the biggest thing. That was Lee Crosby flipped into the end. Oh, okay. That's a yeah. Okay, that's a funny moment. Got completely yelled at. It it was funny because we won. If we if we lost, it was sweet flip. It was a sweet flip. It wouldn't be funny at all. Yeah. Yeah, but well, I guess that goes with your favorite play of the year. That's my favorite play of the year. That was a pretty cool play. Yeah. Well, no one thought it was fumble, too. Everyone kind of just said that yeah. for a minute. And, and he did, like, a flip in three quarters, too. So. Yeah. Yeah. It would have been cooler if he landed it, though. Yeah, that's my vote for favorite play of the year, yeah. for sure. Yeah, that's true. That's cool. Your Lobo football team has been selected to play in the Gildan New Mexico Bowl right here in Albuquerque at University Stadium versus the UTSA Roadrunners. Buying your bowl tickets through the Lobos guarantees you will sit on the east side of University Stadium in the Lobo section with all the Lobo fans in section CC through GG. For tickets, call 505-925-LOBO, stop by Wise Pies Arena, or visit golobos.com. Okay, so now let's get into some key games this year. Let's start with (laughs) San Jose State. Let's roll the tape. like forever <coughs> yeah, a long time. no but yeah we had, man 491 yards of total offense that's pretty pretty good four six three and outs <sighs> yeah defense it's incredible i mean what we led we led the whole game right yeah coming whole off game. two game lose, losing streak yeah. was it really yeah that's what it yeah. Says, yeah yeah <laughs> Uh, I mean, it was, a, it, was a, it was a big game for us, for sure, being able to come home and, you know, just win. Just you know, you, win. Yeah. you think about, you know, looking at the end of the season, nobody cares what the score was, you know, it's, it's whether you won or not. And it, might, it was probably wasn't, it was probably one of our ugliest wins, you know, of the for season. Sure. But yeah. I think it was definitely a game early on in the season that kind of got us going, you know, just, just a little bit, just kind of building, building a little bit of, of momentum. Was that coming off the bye week? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was coming off the bye. Yeah, yeah. First first was game. Game. That's great yeah. to get that win. Having a bye so early in the season, it's kind of, yeah. you know, you, you kind of like it when it happens, but by the time you get to, you know, game 11 and 12, it's kind of yeah, like, wish, we wish we week. had, you know, we <laughs> yeah. wish we had a bye. So, you know, our, our, sch- our scheduling definitely didn't favor us in that, you know, which we really don't have control over. It was but still good to get that win after yeah. start the Yeah, so I mean, I guess, I guess it was a blessing after two losses to have that bye yeah, to kind of. got us on a roll, honestly. I mean, yeah. we just went up, went up from there, so. 
Uh, we're going to move on to Air Force now. This was a team that was receiving votes on a national attention scale, and we went in there, played in the Cotton Bowl, so just a great game overall. So we're going to play some of the highlights now. That was, a, that was definitely a fun game playing in. I mean, it was just intense back and forth the whole game. It was super hot. Yeah, <laughs> it was. I'm never Dallas, going back to Texas. Dallas, yeah. <laughs> I'm never <laughs> going to Texas. I can't do it. Right. That. Yeah. yeah, that was by far my favorite game. Yeah, you had yeah, two, two touchdown home. passes in that game, too. That was pretty, yeah. pretty good. That was good because we were coming off lost to Boise. Yeah. yeah. We really had to bounce back. And then, like, that's what started that five-game win streak that we had, too. So yeah. I think it was just big, big for the team. I mean, yeah. a lot of good plays made in that game. Yeah, we. I mean, we knew it was a big week for us. We knew it. We knew it before the season even started. Though, you know, playing on the Mountain Division every week once you get into conference play is just is just like a gauntlet. Going, you know, having to play every team every single week. And we knew after after Boise, had, it was going to be a challenge playing, you know, in a neutral place. You know, which probably a lot of people haven't played in a neutral game like that before in college. So that was definitely a unique experience, especially playing on grass. You know, yeah, people, people take for yeah, people take for granted. You know, we played a lot of teams that have are in cold climate, so a lot of teams have turf. Mm -hmm. You know, just like we have turf. You know, <coughs> kind of going in the middle of I don't know, was it October and in you know a really humid place and playing on grass was like uh, you know it took a little bit during pregame just Mid -day you know too. yeah it was hot. middle of the day it was, it was hot. I remember pregame just, just sweating just walking outside and yeah. then playing Air Force they got that that offense going yeah outside. yeah it's like it's like the. <laughs> It's just the, the ground war. It's like, yeah, it's a different, <laughs> it's a different game. game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to get ready. Is, I thought that yeah. game was going to be like an hour and a half long. That was like one of our longest games. Yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah. Yeah. We were just running the ball the whole time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's true. Five hours. <laughs> Possession time was unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It was definitely a fun one, though. Yeah, that was definitely it was physical. Cool. It was it was super physical. We know every week, every year when we play Air Force that we all know what's going to be offense and defense wise, mm -hmm. how physical it's going to be. So it's that was, I think that was a great game to start. You know, I think that's what started the win streak just because it you know it takes so much out of you to play a good team like Air Force that does something kind of similar to us, um, and it, and it kind of you know I'm sure our. our you know the two coaches have egos are going at each other about whose offense is better. So <laughs> I think we definitely proved that we that we have the best rushing offense in the nation that game. You know, and that's I think that's what definitely started off. Yeah, I agree. I mean, just playing in that Cotton Bowl was pretty cool though. Yeah. Like after all the games that have been played there, the legendary games. Like, yeah. I mean, that was the week after the Red River. Texas, yeah. 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 Yep. So that, I mean, that was just awesome being there. There was a lot of Texas kids on the team too. So taking them home, I know. Lamar, uh, you probably had a bunch of family there and stuff. Oh, yeah, too. without a doubt. Yeah, so that was definitely a great game, especially going out with the win. That's the most important part. Yeah.
we'll remember the Cotton Bowl forever, probably because of, you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we'd remember it regardless, but you know, winning in the Cotton Bowl is, is a yeah, thing that a lot of people can't say. Better, a sure. lot of people can't say that. <laughs> now let's uh, move on to Louisiana Monroe. This is uh, definitely a different game for us. We've never played them before, so there was definitely a lot of highlights made in this game. It was a lot of fun for all of us, so let's watch the tape. show for that game I mean 622 yards total offense I know um, I mean a lot of people got in that game making plays so it was, yeah. it was fun to watch for a defensive standpoint just sitting on the bench watching that and then coming out and just allowing the offense to do that I mean it's pretty awesome so yeah it was definitely a game we talked about you know we thought it was gonna be a trap game you know having a Having an out of conference game in the middle of the season is kind of kind of awkward sometimes, just because we don't we've never played Louisiana Monroe. Well, not in the recent past, and mm -hmm. it was kinda, it was kind of one of those things where we don't know you know we don't know anything about their players. They probably <coughs> don't know anything about us. And uh, I thought it was just a you know I you know I give it to our coaching staff. They they got us ready for it. You know I can't remember what we did during that week, but it must have been something, <laughs> it must have been something crazy. Yeah, it's long time we, we I think it was took a series on yeah. The I think it was just the fact that it was like our first time playing them and we just wanted to really show them like they're in our house so yeah, like yeah. Yeah. we didn't really know what they're about either yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. Thing too, is when that's true people that you that you're familiar with you have a little bit of idea we didn't know what they were like so they had a new new coaching staff right yeah. so and they had plays like, like oklahoma that. oklahoma earlier in the yeah. season yeah yeah so and louisiana has great athletes in this yeah. so you think so you don't you know, know really what to, what to expect yeah, yeah. that's so. way true but i thought yeah i thought we definitely showed out i thought that was a that was you know just like all, all, all the games we won that was great for us yeah Sure. You know, come in and really put some points on somebody, and I, you know, really just handle a team, you know, in the middle of the season is a, is a nice feeling rather than, mm -hmm. you know, South Dakota in the middle of the year, yeah. I mean, at the beginning of the year, or Mississippi Valley State, it was kind of nice to do it to a team in the middle of the year. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> but uh, how many times did you get? Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. They took us out oh, really. Those concussions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know a lot of stars didn't even play the second half, which yeah. is kind of frustrating. We got a lot of um, development guys in there, though. A yeah. lot of guys, first time playing, got to get in. So 
yeah. So yeah. whoever scheduled our, our, you know, our schedule this year, I thought that was a great, that was a great game for us. Mm-hmm. Just in the middle of the year, kind of sure. stay healthy and you know get a good win at home. Especially you know in front of our own fans, that was, that was good. Mm-hmm. Win at home's you know a priority so for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's definitely. True. Yeah. So. Lastly, we're going to be talking about Wyoming Senior Night. So this is a big night for all the seniors that went out there at home. Seniors. Yep. <laughs> Shout out to seniors. Everybody. Shout out. Lamar, you're still going to be around. So <laughs> you got another chance to play Wyoming. But for us, this is the last time going, going against Wyoming. So we wanted to definitely go out there and put on a show. So we're going to roll the highlights right now. huge night for us I mean we definitely everyone 690 yards total offense yeah. we got 10 more we got 700 yeah that's, that's, that's a pretty that's a pretty long that's a long highlight yeah 568 rushing yards second most we had like three three when else wait 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 when who ran for more that's what I want to know what <laughs> who ran for yeah, more what, than 560 yards what team yards? team hey, man. football hey man 60 years ago space. back in the, the leather helmet days hey yeah Eight tackles too. Good, good showing on senior night. And yeah, not as great That's as yours. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like, I like, you just, yeah, I like how you just set me up for that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you had eight tackles. Okay, he's Dakota expecting Cox. you to say, hey, how uh, did yeah. you have all oh, fourteen? Oh, you guys know, fourteen tackles. He led team tackles. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, you, get it. you had you know, to tackle every play. Their offense. Yeah, <laughs> so, so that's cool. Yeah, but I think I think a lot of people had. I mean. I was probably tied with three other people that had big yeah. tackle that night. Um, I know a lot of people. Nick had a We've got Wyoming the last few years, too. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, they're definitely. That's why I don't like us very much. Like, oh, especially yeah. their defense. They like, <laughs> gotta hate us. <laughs> yeah. I think the only time I, I think I only ever lost to him was freshman <laughs> freshman year since I've been here. Yeah, they had that good quarterback that year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but ever since then it's just been highlights. Highlights for us. <laughs> highlights. Hope you don't. Yes. That was a good game you don't though. You see this in Wyoming, mean, you see this. I'm leaving after this. It's all highlights. <laughs> <laughs> all highlights. I may not lead the team in tackles, but we got highlights. But we got highlights. Hey, tackles, baby. Yeah, he tackles. But yeah, no, 690 yards offense just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's like. You know, I, I, really, I really give it up to Coach the Best and, you know, yeah. Coach B and all the other offensive coaches. They really had y'all ready to go for this game. The Red Sea was partying. Like, yeah. Play. I for definitely. Sure. They did not know where the I ball was. I definitely shout out the offensive line because yeah. yeah. that was probably the widest play I've ever seen. Yeah. It was like, <laughs> that's going to go for an 80 yard Yeah. yeah. And it funny. was just a weird game, too, coming, you know, just like Air Force, you know, coming off a loss that mm -hmm. everyone was just like, <laughs> As you said, you know, everyone on our team, all our coaches just, you know, I won't say mad about, you know, it's just, you know, disappointed. <laughs> so it's, this is this is definitely a, a game and a series of games that you can say this is how much local football has actually bounced back. Because in the For past, sure. my, you know, your first year, my first year, you know. Yeah. Well, it went through some rough patches. Yeah, you know, you yeah. lose a game like that or lose a Boise game or a Colorado State game and, you know, the whole season just over. You know, everyone's just like completely out of it. You know, we lose the next two games or whatever that mm -hmm. is. But to be able to, to to bounce back like that and put up these numbers on the team that represented us and you know the Mountain West Conference Championship is is amazing. You know, and especially yeah. doing at home on senior night, that was that was, that was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Definitely, you know, a game I'll remember forever. Just you know, just based off what you know what the stakes were for it. Yeah, so, yeah, I definitely remember this game just off the fact that when me and Dakota came in, it was. Completely different senior night, our yeah, freshman year, than yeah, it is yeah. now. So I mean, for sure. Yeah, my first se my first year was a senior was senior day versus Wyoming. Oh right yeah, line, yeah, we yeah. won. Out, we won it. And it was only we were up four and eight. Yeah. But you know, it, yeah, you, you think about the different circumstances you can have in senior night, and you know, everybody on our teams, you know, is, is should get rewarded for that. You know, that they put our seniors in that position to be able to have a great senior night like that. And for it not to be our last game, yeah, you know, because yeah. I didn't cry, I saw you cry. <laughs> I didn't cry. You might have shed cried. a tear. I didn't. Shed Wait, a tear. everyone under uh, we got another game, so it was like yeah, yeah. Everyone I was, I was, like, was like, we yeah, I kind of expected home. ourselves to have another home game. Yeah, yeah. So we were like to be at, at the New Mexico Bowl. Yeah. Technically, yeah. <laughs> technically not yet. <laughs> I don't know, but the biggest thing about that game, I mean, you touched on it, Mountain Division co-champion. So that's the first time in a while that's happened around here. So mm -hmm. it feels pretty good to. For us seniors to leave with with the ring and something under our belt like that, Lamar's got <coughs> something to build off next year. And I mean, I just think that was an awesome game for a lot of people. Yeah, so, yeah, I thought, I thought great just for just happy we gonna get a ring, <laughs> yeah. gold, yep. diamonds. Hopefully yep. two rings. Yeah, that'd that'd nice. definitely. But both going on my pinky. Yeah, same pinky. Nah, you gonna stack them? Stack them up? Yeah. yeah. Or one below this knuckle, or, or one, you know. That'd work. So happy pinky. So I know you two could probably reflect on this a little bit. I mean, be the number one rushing team in the nation. <laughs> Marty had a lot to do with it. Austin made some good runs too. Hey, so, thanks. I mean, talk about talk a little bit about that. Like, how's it feel for the offense to be producing like that? Uh, you know, it's a blessing. You know, you got to thank the O line because none of that would happen without them. So, you know, shout out to those guys. But, I mean, you know, if you look at our backfield as well as, you know, our receivers we got, you know, probably the most talent in the nation, I believe. So, you know, when you got a guy like Gip, you know, and Rich and T.O. and literally the, I can name them all, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of moving parts. Yeah. With all the O-line, too. Yeah. So it's kind of like destined for, you know, yeah, nothing uh, less than be number one. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I'd hate to be defensive every week trying to. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, practice. Well, we go against yeah. it enough during yeah. fall camp. Like yeah. we, we hate that, but yeah. I don't know eight wins this year, seven last year. I mean, that's two two big win seasons. I know when me and Lamar came in, we used to sit in Casas <laughs> talking about just what it'd be to win. Like I mean, and to finally get there, and for seniors to go out eight wins, hopefully getting nine in this bowl game, that'd be awesome. Nine wins is a lot. I don't think people realize how, yeah. how hard I mean, it is to get nine wins. Yeah. Exactly. So it's kind of a big accomplishment for us, obviously, after the years that this program's been through. So. Yeah, and then, I mean, bowl game, two years in a row, 
New Mexico Bowl last year, New Mexico Bowl again this year. So I think I mean having that home field advantage, uh, that's going to be nothing but great for us. It was a great environment last year. I don't know yeah, if you guys remember yeah. that. Like ESPN, noon game, everyone showed first up. First bowl game. So. Yeah, first bowl game. That was so. like the first time I've seen the whole stands like Exactly. Field. Yeah, that was the definitely, first time ever. definitely the first time for sure. <coughs> so hopefully get it, get it again this year, bring all the fans back. We need that. Yeah, yeah get it all really out there. That. And then, I mean, I know like for us <coughs> as captains, like we've been able to have a pretty big influence on this team like coming up. And I know for Lamar, you, you got another year, but I mean, just building off of everything we've done, I mean, coming from freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, like, I mean, we've probably just, I mean, learned a lot from the guys that have left here before oh, us, yeah, too. without a doubt. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and just being being a leader on the team, having people to to go out there and coach and just make better and understanding that they're going to come up behind us. Like, yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty cool <laughs> leaving here, too, with a winning winning record. I mean, I know it'll it'll rub off on the guys below us, and Lamar's gonna take the reins next year. So. <laughs> yeah, he definitely has to go. Being, a, I mean, being a leader is hard. Yeah, you know, it's, it's definitely the one of the hardest, you know, positions to be in, not, not just in sports, but just in life. Whether you, you know, you're working at a job or you know whatever you're doing, just around your family, you can be a leader in your family. But which you know, football has become our family. Mm -hmm. You know, we see each other every day for eight hours a day. We see each other all weekend long. We stay in a hotel, stuck with each other every day. Yeah, party and with each yeah, other. Yeah, you know, we do, we do everything together. Like, you know, I, I don't have any other guy friends. Cause I, I have a hundred. I don't, you know, I don't need yeah. anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's all right. Yeah, like, I, don't need, I don't need any other more guy other friends. Other level athletes. Yeah. I don't really yeah. care what nobody else needs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's really what it is. Like, even in, yeah. in classes, like, you you guys, you find the football players and you sit with those guys. Yeah. It's yeah. I mean, it's really just kind of a, a brotherhood because we are, I mean, this is the family away from your real family. So, I mean, we've grown uh, together. It's definitely a blessing to be, a, to be a leader, but, you know, being a captain, but just being a leader, you know, forget all the, the titles and yeah, and whatnot. And I was gonna, you know, walk over coin tosses or videos yeah. and things like that. Just just being a leader because we have, we have other leaders on our team, you yeah. know, that don't have this title. Yeah. 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 But uh, you know, I think it's for you guys. You know, we kind of have a weird dynamic of captains. We have two guys that have been here, you know, from their freshman year, and then we have two guys that come from junior college. Yeah. You know, so I think I think all we of cover us, a lot of aspects. Yeah. yeah. You know, we got for two sure. defensive captains, two offensive captains. You know, yeah. and, and uh, you know it's. It's been hard, you know. Yeah. So, you know yeah. Come, yeah. Come, coming leadership's, from yeah, leadership's never easy. You gotta, you gotta uh, like adjust. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a hard thing. You gotta adjust to different personalities too. And understand <laughs> how to react <laughs> to different people, and yeah. I mean that's probably the, the toughest part because we got so many different personalities. Yeah, you go from a guy like Rick to a guy like Jake Rosshiller. I yeah. mean, those are two, two complete completely <laughs> different. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like just to compliment our team too, like. Our team does a good job of just following our lead too. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, I agree. And, like you said, there's other leaders on our team, but I feel like just us being the representatives and the captains, they do a really good job of kind of like going with the flow too, and you know, taking taking our lead kind of thing. So. Yeah, I agree. Who'd ever thought we'd I'd be a captain? That's true. Yeah, you know, I've never. You know, <laughs> <especially, laughs> you know okay, especially coming junior college. You know, I, this is my third year here. You know, because I redshirt, but it's only your, your second. second yeah, you know, yeah. it's kind of it's kind of crazy how fast you know the, right. those things can happen. Yeah, like I just got here like yeah. last yeah. last January. So. Yeah, you know, and coming from and it's hard to you know I want to say it's it's hard to be a captain on a, on a team that has struggled in the past. You know, when we vote, when we all got recruited, what, you know, what was the, the thing Coach Dave said? We're bringing you in here to what, be a leader mm -hmm. and help turn the program around, you know, and it, it feels great For now being in that position, through, you know. Because yeah, we've done it. Yeah, yeah, you know, so it's nice being the captain now, you know, knowing that, you know, we were the ones that helped put this in place. You know, mm -hmm. it might have not been like that when we first got here, but now to what, where we've come from, whether it's four years or two years, you know, we, we definitely, you know, help get this going you know and it feels great you know, even though it's our last year you still have another year but it feels great just to know you know we're leaving this in good hands yeah. and we're leaving this in a good state that you know and when this last game will be even you know a better you know punctuation mark to his you know uh, to just the leadership yeah definitely. i'm gonna miss you guys you know <laughs> i mean <laughs> he said <"Hey." laughs> i'm just saying like looking at you know all the guys i came in with are basically gone except you know me kimmy mm -hmm. yeah. and Whoever else, yeah, red shirt is. It's just, mostly like young guys now. That yeah, you know, have all come in when we're we we've, we've already been here. Yeah, yeah and we kind of you know just kind of built that foundation. Even with you guys, you know, I'd say y'all helped build that foundation too. So I just feel like you know this senior class was real special. You know, I feel like it should always be remembered. 
just off the simple fact that you know we brought you know New Mexico football out of a, a long slump. Slump. I feel like you know slump. just a long slump. slump. Just a slump. Yeah. Well, I mean, people know who we are. Yeah, you know, know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. regardless of you know the games don't get you know sold out like we wanted to. I just feel like you know it's something special. You know, and I'm, I'll never forget this year. You know, I'll never yeah. forget last year because you know I felt like last year was just like a. Yeah. I mean, we Making knew we could ball. do it, but it was just kind of like a. Well, shell it doesn't shot, feel you know? like people don't think it's a fluke anymore. You know. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, they gotta get take us serious. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like every game, people are like, hey, they're real. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. like last year when we started winning a little bit, we were still coming off four and eight seasons and like bad, still bad seasons. Mm -hmm. So people are like, uh, they kind of I don't know if they thought we got lucky or you know they ran into us at the wrong time. But this year when we started to kind of prove yeah. it a little bit more, mm -hmm. it was it was not a fluke for sure. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'll never forget, you know, my uh, freshman year when I used to travel, I, I don't know why, just because and we literally, like, we'd walk on the field and the other team would laugh at us and, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I, don't know, I felt that real disrespectful, <laughs> you know, just yeah. it's coming off, like, how, how you know, the high school I came from, as well as I bet y'all guys felt the same way. I know you felt the same way, Dakota, because yeah. we used to argue about it till 2 in the morning all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But, I mean, you know, that's just true. now, you know, we go to places, people are like, Oh, okay, you know, what's up, man? You the, yeah. you the, you the Cody, you know what I'm saying? You all seen it. I mean, it feels better. I mean, just the amount of respect that we've gained, mm -hmm. especially in the Mountain West. I feel like in the country now. Yeah, for sure. You know, it, you know, it's just, it's truly yeah. a blessing, you know. Can't thank you guys enough for it. Yeah. You know well, I mean, even going around campus wearing yeah. our Lobo yeah. stuff. Campus I wasn't is wearing no Lobo different. stuff. Yeah. 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 I ain't wearing no football campus stuff. Campus is on completely campus. People are excited. Different. Like, yeah. we wear our football jackets and, like, oh, man, we're so excited for you. Like, yeah. great season. Like, we have, the, we have the support and we feel that. So, I mean, it's just. Yeah, I think it's kind of hard for us to see how. Yeah. It's kind of hard for us to see success because, like, we're in it and we had a good year last year and we had a good year this year. We're kind of like, oh, you know. You know, we played well and we're a good team, but I think from the outside, people are like, okay, and, you know, the Lobos are, you know, can play now. Yeah. So it's definitely. it's definitely a sign for all of New Mexico. Definitely on campus has changed yeah. from yeah. our freshman year to now. For sure. Yeah. I don't know, but I think it's been great, so. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm going to miss y'all. I'm going to miss y'all, man. my dog. Yeah, thanks for joining us today. Here on Lobo Live, uh, we encourage all of you guys to come out to watch the bowl game, New Mexico Bowl, December 17th against UTSA. It's going to be a, a great game and an, an the exciting, road yep, road they, an exciting environment. So looking to pack the house like we did last year. I mean, we can't thank you guys enough. The fans, the support has been tremendous this year. And just having you guys out there to support us, I mean, it means so much to us and really gets us going. And allows us to go out there and get the wins, especially at home too. So we're excited to have this last home game here at the New Mexico Bowl. We encourage you guys to go out there and cheer on the Lobos. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you, Lobo Nation. Go Lobos. Go Lobos. <laughs>